Hello everyone and welcome back to another snack video. I know I've been promising it for a while. Uh, if you remember from the first one, I'm going to break it down into sections. Uh, and the first one I did savory and sweet. This one is going to be a little different. I will break it down as you see, obviously. I've been sitting on these snacks for a little bit. I've been posting like pictures of a little few of them as I get them to kind of get you guys in the mood. So let's just get right into it. Starting with the Oreos. Starting with the oldest one, the Space Dunk. I know, you guys have probably already been done with this and you're like, come on, dude. But I had to get to it and it wouldn't be a snack video without it. I low-key bought like three packages of these and I'm still sitting on the other two, so. Okay, they got a little design. They got different designs on them. Do you see that? I think that one, I think that one's a little astronaut. Uh, I gotta break it open to see what it looks like. Oh, it looks wet. Why does the frosting look wet? Do you see that? That shit looks moist, dude. What? Oh, I don't even see any of the Pop Rocks inside of it. It literally looks so wet. That's weird. It is pretty good. I am starting to feel the Pop Rocks in my mouth. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear them in the mic. Uh, it kind of just tastes like a normal double stuff Oreo. I think this stuff is just colored. I don't think it says that it's any different flavor on it, actually. It just says cosmic cream with popping candy. So I think it's probably just a normal cream colored. Uh, it doesn't taste bad. I would imagine it would be pretty weird dipping it in milk just because of the Pop Rocks. I don't know if they would have the same effect or what would, what's up with that. It's literally just an Oreo with a different skin. So I'm just gonna have to give it a four out of 10 because it's really not that much different about it. It's just a limited edition. Next up, the dirt cake Oreos. Yeah, this one I'm a little more excited for. Um, I wasn't really into dirt cakes as a kid a whole lot, like the puddings. But once they started coming out with like dirt cake variations of ice cream, that I'm a little more into. I'm really interested to see how they get the gummy worm flavor in here with the other stuff. They look just dark. There is, oh, 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 wait a minute, guys. Okay, wait, hold up. If you look at... If you look at the Oreo itself, I don't know how well it's going to be able to show up in the camera. They have like, what, like it almost looks like fucking broken glass shards, dude. I think those are supposed to be the gummy worm effect. It like, it's so pretty. It literally looks like stained glass or something. It's so odd. Yeah, so I'm gonna say the gummy worms don't come through in here <laughs> at all. It tastes like a chocolate Oreo. It pretty much is a chocolate Oreo. Maybe like a chocolate pudding Oreo, because I don't eat the chocolate cream Oreos like super often, so I kind of forget what they taste like off the top of my head. But I remember it tasting pretty much like that. It just tastes like a chocolate Oreo. So you literally can't, there's no gummy worm flavor in there at all. And obviously I wasn't expecting too much of that because how could you get it in there with all that chocolate? But I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. It does not taste like dirt cake. And the last Oreo I got, a fan favorite that they brought back, limited edition, the churro. This one I'm actually the most excited for by far. I mean, come on. If you look at this, not only is it churro cream flavor, it's not just a vanilla cookie. The cookie is fried dough flavored. Like what? How do you get the cookie to be fried dough flavored? We're gonna find out. Oh, what, dude? Oh, they smell so cinnamony. Oh God. Oh, this one's also moist. It looks straight up like peanut butter, dude. Tell me that does not look like a peanut butter slab in like a Reese's. Oh, it's so creamy. Maybe it's because it's the only one that actually tastes different than a normal Oreo. This one is so, it is heavy flavoring, man. I would say the cookie, it doesn't really give off fried dough. It gives off like powdered donuts, which I guess is kind of like, you know, fried dough with powdered sugar on it. Same vibe. The cream on this one, it is not like any Oreo. Like, you know the Oreo creams are like, like you could like probably just like take a knife and like scrape it off and lift it up, you know, like it's a solid. I don't know what kind of cream it is. This is like not, like I could like rub my finger through this and it would like come off like peanut butter. It's so creamy. It's so interesting. It's very cinnamony. Um, It definitely tastes like a churro. I'm gonna have to give this, I don't know. I might have to give this an eight out of 10. This one's pretty damn good. I really like them a lot. Okay, now to wash all those down, we're gonna move on to the drinks. I know, I got four fancy drinks here that I found, and one of them I'm upset about, and we'll just start with it. The Mountain Dew Baja Laguna Lemonade. 
I have tried so hard to find the other one of these, the breakout punch, and it's just like, bro, where are they? They're nowhere to be found. But uh, as you can see, I did take a sip of this one already because Mountain Dew was doing a thing for the Eclipse and this was the Mountain Dew I chose to, I'll just show you the picture. Let's try it. It's not bad. It's really mango -y flavored, like artificial mango. I feel like people are saying the fiery Baja chips are uh, really artificial mangoed, and I feel like it's probably just whatever this flavoring is. Like it tastes so like fake mangoes. Like it doesn't. It. I don't even know how to explain it. It's all right. It definitely has the Baja kind of flavoring to it. Like it's a little more syrupy than a normal Mountain Dew. But it doesn't taste bad. I, especially on like a really hot day like at the beach, if you're into tropical flavored things, you probably dig in this. I was really excited for the breakout punch and I still haven't found it. So that's okay. But I'm gonna give this a three out of 10. All right, we got another old one, the Coca-Cola Spiced. I know this one's been and gone too. It's been out since for like February or March. And they're saying this is a permanent flavor. Coke does not do that very often. So, I mean, it, ha it has to be worth something to try. It wasn't as fizzy as I thought it was going to be when I opened it. It really was not that fizzy at all, actually. I was, hmm. Oh. That smells. What? Uh, it's, it says raspberry spice coke and other flavor. It smells like cough syrup, dude. Oh. No, 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 no. Nope. We don't like that. That's a zero out of ten on my scale. That is like Dr. Pepper if they just made it bad. It's so thick and syrupy. Like you saw when I opened it, there was not that much fizz. There's not enough carbonation in there to cancel out that thick flavor, dude. Like, ugh. Barbie time. I know. We got a pink lemonade swoon. That is Barbie themed, zero sugar. Now, I had no idea about this company at all until I just saw this in the store. And I was like, oh crap, that's Barbie, dude. So I had to get it. It is limited edition, so don't think I'm lying. But I think they are probably a little bit of a smaller company. It's a woman-owned company too, which is really cool. So it's cool that Barbie partnered up with it. Uh, I'm a lemonade whore. I love lemonade, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a soda drinker now in my older age. But when I was a kid, let me tell you that lemonade and iced tea, iced tea lemonade, that was like my go-to always. I was like a lemonade stan. I still to this day think the main root lemonade is the best it's the best. It's the best. But let's try this. It has no sugar. It's sweetened with monk fruit, which is pretty interesting. I know that's a thing. I don't know if I've ever had anything sweetened with monk fruit, like that I was aware that it, that's what it was sweetened with. Oh, it smells like not good. Not gonna lie. Oh, why does that smell like that? I wish there was sm I wish smell vision was invented, man. So you guys could. Oh, dude, it smells like a. I literally. I don't know. It smells like swamp water. I don't know how else to describe it. It smells bad. It does not smell good, dude. Is that is that what monk fruit smells like? This is not, dude. I'm like, I almost don't want to, this does not smell good. It smells like kombucha, dude. All right, let's just try it. Man up, I know. I gotta get through it. Oh, dude. Oh my God, that is, I, I'm really not doing this for the video. Oh my God. Dude. I'm really not hyping this up right now. Try that. I don't want it now. Oh, dude, it literally tastes like beer. I smell it. it tastes like bad beer, dude. Is that just what monk fruit is? Is that the monk fruit? There's no way. Dude, there is no way. Oh my God, dude. Am I gonna get sick? Like, is this supposed to be like that? I've never had this stuff before, man. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty bad. I'm definitely excited. I'm so glad I have one more drink to go through to get rid of that taste in my mouth because that was not good. All right, now we got a new Rockstar, Rockstar Focus. Now, I don't know if there's any more flavors of these. I just happened to see this one at my local store and I just snagged it because why not? Um, it's also zero calorie drink, zero sugar. 
It says it has lion's mane in it, 200 grams of caffeine, and it is white peach flavored. I don't really know what white peach is. I don't know if I've had that specifically before. So I am kind of excited to try this. It smells peachy. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, okay, that's actually not bad. Like I said, peach things with me are like hit or miss. This is a peach thing I could get with actually. It's very light. It's definitely thin. Like most peach things are like, they feel really syrupy and thick. This is a much more lighter, thin option. I don't really know, like, is this, I think this is like, uh, be meant to more compete with like Celsius and like the new wave of energy drinks like that. Cause it's in like a more similar can, similar style. And that's zero sugar. And it's called Rockstar Focus. I'm not really sure it's up with that. Um, there's probably other flavors of this, I'd imagine, I just haven't found. But it's not bad, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Okay, now we're getting to the really exciting stuff, guys. Now we got two new flavors of Ben & Jerry's. I uh, know, this is the most fun part. Who doesn't love ice cream? Starting with Impressively Fudged. Now, this is a chocolate ice cream with fudge-covered pretzel pieces and pretzel swirls. Um... Chocolate ice cream for me is, I like it. I don't usually get just chocolate ice creams because they get rich really fast, but I definitely, I did, this is definitely seems like something I would enjoy through and through. So I'm excited to try it. I also am a Vermonter, so you guys should be jealous. I gotta try to get a good piece of these. Because if you guys, I don't know if anybody's watched, like people rank Ben and Jerry's, like the Try Guys or GMM, but I just feel like they don't get good scoops, man. And it's like, I'm from Vermont and you guys aren't doing this stuff justice to me. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get a bite of everything. It just sometimes it just bugs me. <laughs> Let's try. Ooh. Ooh. It's really salty. And I like that. If you guys remember when they did the potato chips Netflix and chilled, bleh, can't talk. It's like that salty. And I love that. I know some people probably like won't be super into that, but that's like one of my personal biggest pet peeves. So, chocolate covered pretzels. It's like, dude, you can never taste the pretzel or the salt. Chocolate always, always out covers it. So the fact that they're letting the salt shine through in here is like doing magic for me. I'm not even a chocolate ice cream guy. I'm gonna give this like a nine out of 10. I always wanna give it a 10 out of 10. It is really salty though, I'm not gonna lie. I can still, I'm still like tasting salt as I'm like talking to you. Next up is Marshmallow Sky. Now this one is one that's available all the time in scoop shops, but is a limited batch for the pints. Um, it is a marshmallow ice cream with marshmallow swirls and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and chocolate chocolate chip cookie dough. So. It's definitely gonna be sweet. <laughs> oh, it is a really pretty blue. This one is much more firmer than the chocolate one. <laughs> it's, all, it's been sitting out the same amount of time. The marshmallow sky. Mm. Mm hmm. So, you know, this has that classic Ben and Jerry sweetness you want. It just reminds you that nothing. There's no other ice cream that tastes like it. It has that sweetness to it. It's very good. I could keep it. Oh, it's really sweet. It almost has like a French vanilla, like creamer kind of taste to it. It's probably just from the marshmallow. Favorite ice cream. Um, The blue food dye just makes it feel like it's thicker. I don't really know what it is. I don't really know what they use to dye it, but it's pretty damn good. And I definitely can go through this thing. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. I know I like it better than the other one, but I'm giving it a lower score overall because it's it's super sweet. Yeah, it's like super sweet, and I feel like the majority of people do not want something this sweet. It's like it's definitely meant for kids. All right, and last up is our miscellaneous category stuff that I just didn't have enough of it to put it in its own category. But they could have their own categories if I just had more of the stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? You'll get what I'm saying as I do it. Starting with these two freaking things. I saw these in the store and I really just could not believe my eyes. I wanted to do a jelly bean test for Easter of all like the kids. I felt like every candy was making a jelly bean version of themselves. So I was scrolling through the same aisles after Easter in the stores when I came across these things and I was like, dude, what even? I had to get them. I had to get them. So we're going to start with the Starburst one. It is 
funky, dude. It feels like fucking drywall. <laughs> it literally looks and feels like drywall. Like my hands are not that my hands are like not sweaty right now or wet. They, it's just that's the consistency of it. Let's try it. Okay, hold up. <laughs> okay, hold up. Why does that taste just like a Starburst though? What? Dude, I really, I'm like almost angry. <laughs> I almost just feel angry. Why does it taste good? I wanted to be mad at this for being a product. It really tastes just like a fucking Starburst, dude. I, I, I'm so on the fence about how I feel about it, so. Hey, and if you maybe don't have like strong teeth anymore, you're like an older person, or maybe you're going through something, or maybe you just like cotton candy, then this is a pretty dank alternative to a chewing on a starburst i'm not gonna lie it really tastes just like the real thing i'm gonna i'm gonna have to give it a 7 out of 10 dude it's crazy all right let's try the skittles one now this one uh it just has a it just says enjoy your favorite skittles original flavors hand spun into cotton candy but it just looks pink so yeah i'm not really sure what's up with that like it looks and smells exactly the same like I, I like to a T, dude. I guess it's supposed to just be like red schedule. I don't know. I oh, don't know. This one's not as good. My brain comprehend what's happening right now. It definitely is all the Skittles flavors. They just chose to make it pink. I definitely taste the lime in that second bite I had. And like watermelon in the first one. It tastes like when you take Skittles in your hand, and you just shove them in there in your mouth all at once that's pretty much what it tastes like it's pretty much lime and grape is coming through the hardest watermelon and cherry are in there it's so sweet like how can anybody eat this in one sitting and these bags dude are not resealable so it's like you have to eat it in one sitting we know what happens to cotton candy when you like when you don't put it like come on and lastly the one i'm most excited for personally out of this long, long snack, this long day full of sweet stuff, god damn it, I'm so excited for these flaming hot pretzels. You don't even know. These things have been staring at me across the room ever since I bought them. They're just like, open me, son. open me, open me. And you know what? We're finally doing it. They kind of look like they're giving like uh, like bagel chip and Chex Mix vibes. Look at that redness on the back of that. That is crazy. Look at it. Can you see that? Look at it. I'm trying to hold that. Let's go to it. All right, here's what I'm going to say. Why did they add the cheese flavor to it still? So, it's not bad. It tastes just like Flaming Hot Cheeto Puffs with a different consistency, different texture. They're really cheesy, actually. Like, they're more cheesy than I thought they were going to be. I almost thought they were just going to be pretzels. With the flaming hot powder on them oh no cheetos made sure to keep that cheese on there they're so cheesy actually they're more cheesy than flaming hottie all right you know what i mean i don't know man we got oh oh they what did i say on the back that it's supposed okay because in my head i was like only one side's really dusted but on the back right there they literally they said it's supposed to be like that so that's cool um i like how they made chester's fingers have cheeto dust on them that's a good touch on the bag. I don't know. I'm going to give these probably 6 out of 10. They're really cheesy. I'm, I was really hoping we would get a 10 out of 10 today, guys. And we just didn't. We got two bad ones. And you know what? What else are you going to do? We went through them all. I think my favorite thing uh, was probably that marshmallow Sky Ben & Jerry's, for sure. The churro Oreos are up there, too. They're, st they're really creamy, but the taste is, like, all there. Um... That Barbie swoon was probably the worst thing I've ever had in my life. It literally was not good. It was so bad that, like, I'm not even, like, I don't even want to relive that. That was terrible. So, we're going to say the Coca-Cola was the worst thing. Because that's the worst thing that some people are going to like. I don't know who's drinking that lemonade. I don't know who it's meant for, who it's marketed for. Not me, that's for sure. But I'm glad you guys are here sticking around. Check it out. And hey, try these. Give me your ranks of them in the in the comments. Maybe one day we'll do something like live or like, I don't know. We'll do something where we share the experience. I'll review them. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, 
I appreciate you all so much for watching. And yeah, stay tuned for more. We got a look back coming up on the 3rd of May. Uh, like always. And yeah, I got some more ideas playing in my little head. So, stay tuned.